He's a song man Waiting one night stands His heart is in his hands And in his voice He's a song man Working where he can It's his calling Not his choice Song man He's still out there riding fences He still makes his living with a rope And as long as there's a sunset He'll be riding for the brand You just can't see him from the road You know, more women own horses these days than men. <laughs> What I meant to say was that more women than men own horses these days. No, I had it right the first time. I took my city girl to a rodeo one night. Saw some girls running barrels under bright lights. And ever since then, nothing's been right between us. She bought a gilding and a used sundowner I went out looking and I finally found her Doing clovers at the county fairgrounds arena Horse fever, driving me mad Horse fever, she got it bad She's spending money like it's growing on trees Hating feed bills and entering fees a preacher and a rabbi and a priest walk into a bar. The bartender says, what's this, a joke? All of you have heard it, perfect. A cowman, a sheep man, and a farmer walk into a bar. The bartender says, what's this, a joke? A karate man, a boxer, and a wrestler walk into a bar. The bartender says, A jazz singer, a rock singer, and God help us, a cowboy singer. Walk into a bar. The bartender says, I see rap music's put you all out of work. <laughs> People often ask me if uh, I've ever listened to rap music, and like most of you, I said, sure, every time I stop at a red light. <laughs> It's in the rigid, sharp salute of a young Marine fresh out of the boot. It's in the deep, solemn bow of a martial arts instructor about to draw the katana sword. It's in the firm handshake of a cowboy, sealing a deal more airtight than any lawyer will ever draw up. This week we need your cowboy spirit, your fine sense of obligations to answer some very tough questions about Kansas water. I ask you please, and I know that you will, be men and women of honor. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, the one with the loop is the one you hold in the right hand. <laughs> Now, now, that's a pretty important piece of cowboy toolage, as it were. But now you need the most single, most important tool that a cowboy could possibly have. A horse. <laughs> well, gentlemen, pick out your string. <clears throat> pick out your string. See, I told you. You know, I didn't say you had to ride it.
And as he pulled the door up, I noticed there were these two big, huge black shoes, these blue pants, and these blue pants, more blue pants, more blue pants, a holster, Uh a badge, and this huge head with mirror sunglasses on. And he looked down at our little skinny, long-haired guitar player, pushed his shades up on his forehead, and said, Is that the new Les Paul? (laughs) Tommy said, Why, yes. Would you like to play it? (laughs) And for the next 30 minutes, we did the longest version of Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. (laughs) You've ever heard? With a Houston police officer. <laughs> oh, sweet temptation, Dixon eyes. She's the devil in a heavenly disguise. Such a hopeless situation to be burning in a fire, sweet temptation. Oh, yes, I'm burning in a fire of sweet temptation. Good night. Thank you very much.